guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you my London MCM Comic Con haul. Now I went last weekend to Comic Con and had such a fun time as always. Normally I go in October but this year I decided to go in May and yeah it was great. I tried not to spend too much but I ended up spending a fair little amount which I'm going to be showing you today. So the first few items I'm going to be showing you are some of the artwork that I got to put around my room. And I'm really excited to show you guys this because they look incredible. The first items I got is this absolutely gorgeous artwork of Venom. So as you can see, this is such an incredible piece of artwork. I can't wait to put this in a black frame and put this up somewhere in my room. Um, I'm a big fan of Spider-Man, big fan of Venom. And that was the first item I got. Now from the same company, I got another piece of artwork similar to this one and it's the whole cast of the Avengers Endgame movie. If you're like me and love anything Marvel, anything comics, then of course you would have seen the Avengers Endgame. So it was a really incredible movie. I won't go into it too much in case any of you are waiting to see it on DVD and actually haven't managed to see any spoilers yet. I don't know how you've done that but if you have then I won't spoil it for you. And this is the artwork that I got. So as you can see, it's got every single character from the end game on it. I particularly like the ones that have a little bit of colour, for example Thanos and the Hulk. I think Groot looks really, really good in the corner there, if you can see him there. And yeah, once again, I'm going to put it in a black frame and put it up somewhere in my room. It is just, it's just stunning really, isn't it? I just had to get it. It's just always going to remind me of the Avengers and it's just a nice little memory to have, I think. So the next items I got are all from the same stall. As soon as I saw this kind of artwork, I immediately fell in love with it. And yeah, so I got four different ones of this and I'm going to show you the first one now, which actually is very similar to my other Venom art piece that I showed you just a minute ago. This one's actually a little bit smaller and it already has a little bit of a frame around it. And yeah, I just thought the artwork was really gorgeous and the way the colours are just splattered along there. So yeah, another really fantastic piece. The next piece I got that was at the same stall as the Venom artwork that I just showed you was a Kakashi piece of artwork. If you're into anime, you will definitely know about Naruto, I'm sure. And Kakashi is one of my favourites from the Naruto anime. So I'll show you what it looks like. So once again, I just think this looks so gorgeous. I think the colours were really good and he is definitely one of my favourites from Naruto. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, yes, definitely getting this. And yeah, it's really, really cool. But like I just said, big fan of Naruto. And I also saw an Atachi piece of artwork, same style as the Kakashi one. I had to get him as well because he's also one of my favourites. And I just think this looks fantastic. So Itachi is also from Naruto and I just thought Kakashi and Itachi next to each other in my room somewhere would look great. The last piece of artwork that was from that stall in the same art style is a, another anime and it's from Maid Sama. I really adore this anime, it's a romance anime and it's definitely not as well known as Naruto. It is one of my favourite romance animes and it is just so cute. So here it is. So this is actually the main couple in this anime. It's a really fantastic anime. It's dubbed if you're interested. I just thought this was such a cute picture. I haven't got anything related to Maid Summer in my room. So I thought what better time than to get something at Comic Con. So that was all the artwork pieces that I got. So next I'm going to move on to the little items that I bought there. At Comic Con I tend to pick up something like jewellery there because it's small, it doesn't take up a lot of room and you find some fantastic unique pieces there. So going back to Naruto, as you can tell I'm a big fan. I picked up these really cute little Koruma earrings. And I just thought they were so cute and I love Naruto so I just thought they were adorable so I had to get them. And on the same stall there was also these little Kakashi earrings. Once again just so adorable. I'm definitely a sucker for cute things and anime so it had to be done. So the last bit of jewellery that I picked up from Comic Con was none other than a little pop Daryl. 
I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead and Daryl is definitely one of my favourite characters. So when I saw him as a little necklace, I was like, yes, it has to be done. So the next items I picked up, I absolutely love. As soon as me and my friend saw the stool, we were smitten. These items are designed by a company called Thumbs and I just thought they were absolutely hilarious. If you're a fan of Simpsons and Pokemon like I am, this mashup is indeed amazing. So there were many different items they had there. They had little badges for each Pokemon Simpsons mashup. I just picked up some cards that I thought were fantastic and I definitely will think about purchasing the whole 151 Kanto Pokemon deck at some point because these are just so funny. So I'm just going to show you the ones I picked up. So Gyarados is one of my favourite Pokemon so of course I had to pick up a card called Blinkydos. I'm just going to show you guys. Doesn't that just look incredible? So the moves that it has on the card is Three-Eyed Wink and Blinky Beam. And it's obviously a mashup of Gyarados and the Three-Eyed Fish that is on Simpsons. And it's just hilarious. I just can't get over how amazing these items are. And I am so in love. So the other cards that I picked up were Santa's Little Vulpix. Isn't that just so sweet? Big fan of Vulpix and love Santa's little helper. Who doesn't? So the move that's on this card is Confused and I think that's such a good mashup, such a good idea. The next one I got was Homer Toys and it's a mashup of Blastoise and Homer Simpson himself. I just think the cards are so well done. The design of them is fantastic and I'll try and put a link in the description for the website if you're thinking about purchasing them as well. They're honestly so amazing. I'm so glad that we found this. I will definitely look out for their stall next year. I'm hoping they're going to be there. And the last card that I received was a Cyral. And this is obviously a mashup of Ralph and Psyduck. This is perfect because both characters seem quite alike. And the moves on this card were My Brain Hurts and Mad Face. If you're a fan of Simpsons and Pokemon, I hope you enjoyed these as much as I did. I'm still laughing at them. I think they're, I think they're brilliant. The last items that I've got to show you are probably the biggest items I've saved for last. I wouldn't leave Comic-Con or anywhere that sells pops without buying some sort of pops. So of course I spent quite a bit of money on pop figures. I was a little bit gutted because I really wanted to go to the Funko stall but by the time that me and my friend got there there was a massive queue and a lot of the shelves looked really empty so I was a bit gutted about that but I did go to the pop in the box stall which was fantastic and I picked up one of their mystery boxes. I think this was £15 and I'm really excited to see what's inside. So this is what the boxes looked like. They're very similar to pop in the box boxes that I've received quite recently. I filmed a video that will be going up on my channel quite soon, so keep an eye out for that. So I'm just gonna open the box up now. So the first pop I've got, I'm not that keen on, to be honest. I haven't actually seen this series. I do love Netflix and I do love their series. This is one of Netflix original series and it's Glow and it's Debbie Egan. So I'm just gonna show you. And yeah, it looks like quite a cool pop, but I've never seen the show. I don't think I'll be that interested. If you guys have watched the show, let me know down below. If anyone's interested in swapping pops, definitely be up for that if you're in the UK. But yeah, not that happy with the first one in the box. But it is a complete mystery. You don't know what you're going to get. This box was £15 and included a limited edition and a normal pop. So obviously that was the normal pop. The limited edition that I received is an Incredibles 2 Jack-Jack pop. It's a special edition one and it's the silver one so I'm really happy about this pop. It's probably not something I'd go out and buy myself but this is why these boxes are great. So you get some really interesting, really great looking pops. So here's what it looks like. As you can see there's a little 
special edition sticker there and yeah it's a great looking pop and I'm really happy to add this to my collection so all in all I definitely would buy that box again I love the mystery I love the surprise and this is a fantastic pop so really happy with that hopefully I can either sell or trade the pop that I got that I wasn't that interested in from Glow so next I'm going to show you some pops that I picked up from Magic Madhouse now these are quite well known I often buy Pokemon cards and stuff like that from them they were also selling pops for very good prices and there was a large collection of them so I picked up a couple from here the first one I picked up was Aka Aka and I think that's how you pronounce it and it's from the Crash Bandicoot series So this is obviously the mask that you can get in the game and I just recently got a Crash Bandicoot pop and was looking for this particular pop as well so when I saw this here and I think it was only £10 I hadn't really seen it anywhere else so I was really happy to pick this up so the next pop I picked up was a Ready Player One Percival pop and I love this movie I'm sure a lot of you might have seen it as well if you haven't and you're a fan of gaming then I would definitely recommend watching that movie so this is the Percival pop And yeah, he just looks absolutely fantastic. I love the character. And this is just a great pop. I think this once again was about £10. So it's definitely a good purchase. And can't wait to add this to my collection. So the next products that I picked up were mystery boxes. And if you purchase two, you get a free small mystery box. So of course I purchased two. And I'm just going to open up the little mystery box that I received. So obviously it's a little coin box from Mario. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to give me any money, but I'm going to open it up and see what goods are in there. So obviously this is a free box, so any items I get here, I didn't pay for. And the first item I got is this really cute little out of time badge from Back to the Future. And yeah, that's really, really cute. I love Back to the Future, so yeah. Fantastic. So the last item in the free box was a Captain America mug. So I love Captain America. I probably don't need any more mugs. But I'm going to open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so it actually looks quite cute. For a free mug, I think that's really good. Quite a cute little tea mug or maybe a little coffee mug. So moving on to the boxes I actually paid for. These boxes are normally really good. There's an added mystery to them so you don't know what you're getting. So you could end up with a really good box or maybe one that you're not interested in. There's loads of different themes as well to choose from. Me being a big Pokemon fan, thought, okay, I'm going to go for a Pokemon theme box. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to open it up and see what items I received in the box. Okay, so the first item I received in the box, this really cute little Pikachu clicker pen. And you could have got a Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle or a Pokeball. But I got the Pikachu one, which is obviously really cute. So yeah, happy with my first item. It's definitely something that I can use. So the second item I've picked up is a Pokemon hat. So really happy with this product. When it's the summer and you need a hat to keep the sun off of your head, this is going to be perfect and I'm going to give it a little try on. So yeah, it looks great. I think for the rest of the box I'm going to wear the hat. So yeah, fits well. There's also adjustable strap so you can change that if needed. So the next item I received is a cuddly toy. I love my cuddly toys. I love them a little bit too much. I have far too many for a grown up adult. But I just find them so comforting, so cute and they're lovely to look at. So I already have lots of Pokemon cuddly toys. So I'm glad the one I've got is one that I don't have and a little bit different. And it's the Ellie Kid. So I'm just going to open it up. So this is one of the baby Pokemon. And it's really cute. It's not too big, so it's not going to take up too much room. Really cute, really happy with that. I'm always happy with a cuddly toy. Normally at Comic-Con, I end up buying a few. But this year, I was very good. Very nearly bought one, but my friend and myself managed to convince myself. Leave it for another time, Kelly, because you have far too many. But yeah, definitely happy with this product in the box. Probably my favourite so far. Although I am quite liking the hat. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you like the hat? Is it something you'd wear? The fourth item that I got is a Pokemon sticker book and it's the black and white version and there's 450 stickers includes exclusive foil stickers I don't know where I'm going to stick these but these look really interesting 
So it says on the back, this Pokemon sticker book contains more than 400 fantastic stickers in three different sizes to collect, trade and of course stick. Collect even more characters and more fun from the Pokemon sticker book Black Edition and Pokemon sticker book White Edition. I'm just going to open it up and show you guys some of the stickers that I received. Okay, so opening that was not the easiest but I finally managed to do it. And here are the stickers inside. So as you can see, there's tons of Pokemon stickers. So I'm gonna have to think of something to put them on. Perhaps a notebook. Yeah, such a cool little item to have in the box. Wasn't really expecting that. So the fifth item I received in the Pokemon box is a Pokemon Jumbo Eraser. So apparently you can find all 12 styles. I don't know which one I've got, so I'm gonna open it up. And it's a Pikachu, so. Fantastic! I actually like to draw when I get the chance, so having a rubber is really fantastic for that. That's really cute, isn't it? So the last item I've got in the box is a Pikachu mug. So another mug, but this looks really cute. It's quite a big one, I think. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like outside of the packaging. I'm actually really chuffed with the Pokemon box. Like I said, it's a complete mystery, so it's just always fun seeing what you're gonna get. I think definitely my favorite is definitely probably the hat. I'm quite enjoying it. And the Pokemon the cuddly toy was really cute, but the mug and the stickers and the pen are definitely gonna be used. So fantastic products, really. So the last product that I bought was a humongous 12 pop box. As you can see, this is quite a big box. There we go. So it's a really cool looking box. I'm really excited to see what pops I got in here. I have no idea, it's completely random. I expect I'm going to get some that I don't really like. So if you see any in here that you really want, then let me know in the comments and we could do a swap perhaps. Okay, so the first pop that I received in my mystery box is a Sailor Moon pop. Like I said earlier in this video, I'm a big fan of anime. I haven't actually gotten around to watching Sailor Moon yet, but I'm sure I'm gonna love this anime when I see it. So I don't actually know the character because I try to avoid spoilers if I've not seen an anime before, but it's Sailor Neptune. So definitely a really cool looking pop. I'm loving the hair. The hair colour is really cute. So yeah, pretty pleased with this. I'm sure I will love the anime when I see it. So the second pop I've received is a Fortnite pop. I do game, but I do not play Fortnite. I know some friends that do, but if you're a fan of Fortnite and you'd like this pop, maybe a swap, then let me know in the comments. Because it's just something that I'm not particularly interested in, but I'm sure a lot of people are. And it's the Omega pop. So he looks like a really cool character, it's just that Fortnite I haven't really got around to playing and I'm not as interested as a lot of people are. So the third pop that I've got in the box is a Street Fighter pop and it is Balrog. I used to play a bit of Street Fighter back in the day but I haven't played for a long time and I haven't collected any of the pops. I'm not as interested as I know some people are. So once again, if you're a big Street Fighter fan and would like to do a swap for this pop, let me know in the comments and we can sort that out. So yeah, not a good start for me. For anyone else that's a huge fan of gaming, they'd definitely be into this. I like my gaming, but I'm not particularly interested in collecting the Street Fighter pops for some reason. Okay, so I'm really chuffed with the next pop. I haven't actually got this pop and I'm a big fan of Batman. So this is the Batman classic TV series, The Riddler Pop. Yeah, I'm really chuffed with the pop, he looks fantastic. So, probably my favourite one I've got so far in the box. Actually no, definitely my favourite one I've got in the box so far. Okay, so this is another gaming pop that, it's a game that I've not actually played before, and I'm probably not interested in, but it is quite a big game. It's Mega Man and it's the Rush character. If you're interested in this pop and want to do a swap then let me know in the comments it's just not really my cup of tea so i'm hoping i can sell it or swap it but i'm sure anyone that likes the game 
would love this pop. It's a cool looking pop, I must admit, just not for me. Okay, so funny enough, we have another Mega Man pop in my mystery box and it's Dr. Willy. So once again, same thing, if you want to do a swap of this pop or know someone that's interested, then let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, I'm probably going to just sell this pop. So not off to the best start with this box, but that is the gamble you take when you buy one of these boxes. The riddle I'm really happy about, and I'm sure Sailor Moon I will be really happy about when I've actually gotten around to watching the anime. So I'm seeing a theme with these pops they're quite gamer heavy and this is another one that I'm just not interested in unfortunately and it's the Team Fortress 2 Scout uh, pop so yeah once again a bit disappointed not not a big fan so if you'd like to do a swap for this pop let me know otherwise I'm just gonna sell it I don't actually know anyone that I think would be interested in this pop so the next pop I'm not interested in again because I've just not really collected any of them but I am a fan of Street Fighter and it's a Blanca pop. Now this is a really cool looking pop. But I'm just not interested in really starting a collection for the Street Fighter pop. So this is another gaming pop and it's from Destiny. I haven't actually gotten around to play this game yet so I'm not really interested at the moment. But I'm sure someone else would be because I know it's quite a popular game. And the pop is Ikara, I think that's how you pronounce it. So, not really the best box for me so far. It is a gamble. Okay, so the next pop I've got, I do really like this pop. There's a slight problem, and that's that I just purchased this pop. And if I hadn't purchased this pop at Comic-Con, I would have been absolutely thrilled with this pop. But I just did, and... Ugh, quite annoying, really. It's the Ready Player One Percival pop. really really good pop <laughs> I've already purchased it Ugh, can't believe that but there you go my friend might buy it off me okay so we're down to the last two pops in the box now and it's a Disney pop and it's Sneezy so this one I'm actually really happy about I actually don't think I have any Disney pops yet, which I'm not really sure why, but I am really happy about getting Sneezy. So, the last pop in this box is actually a good one for me. Hurrah! And it is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it's in the 8-bit form. I haven't actually got any 8-bit pops yet. I think I normally prefer the designs of the normal ones, but this is a really cool pop. This is Leonardo. And yeah, so for the last pop in this mystery box, I am, I'm really chuffed. So I think all in all for this box, mostly pops that I didn't actually want, which is the gamble that you take. I'm really chuffed with some of the pops that I got. So I definitely would purchase again. And yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching my video. I know it's been a bit of a long one showing you my Comic-Con haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, don't forget to like and click that subscribe button for more unboxing videos including pop figures and even beauty if you're interested in that and I hope to see you soon. Bye guys!